Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking to buy the beat down here. Saturday afternoon, late morning, whatever it is. So, I just decided to step out and go for a walk this morning. Now this is only my third walk I've been on since we moved. since we moved here in uh, October 5th. Uh, otherwise, you know uh, where we did live, I walked every day. But, kind of felt like, you know, I was okay, I was done walking. Uh, like that, you know, worrying about it so much. And I'm okay with my decision still. But I got kind of restless just sitting there in the house. I thought, well, it's beautiful out. Let's go for a walk. So this area is a little different from my old neighborhood, of course. The old neighborhood was, you know, just a one way in and one way out kind of little neighborhood without quite so much traffic. <laughs> So, but, uh, I'm used to being out on the roads. I did cycle for five and a half years, and this was one of my main strips through here, actually. So, nice little neighborhood there. Nice trees. Everything's getting nice and green. So, anywho, I'm going to get up here a little bit and then we'll start the video again. So, I had a pretty good week working out. A couple of little setbacks. Uh, my deadlift day... I did my 500 pounds. You know, I could tell I, I strained my back a little bit. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, my back is garbage anyway. But I could tell it just kind of, you know, inflamed. It kind of had that little nerve that, uh, whatever it is, that disc, nerve, something, everything that, you know, has been bothering me my whole life. It just, uh, you know, inflamed it a little bit more. So I, I had to be a little bit thoughtful and careful of what I do. Because uh, my next day after that was squats again. But still, everything went fine. And then Friday, a little bit of setback. With my bench pressing, I felt a little bit of strain over here and it could have been just some residual you know aches and pains from doing that deadlift you know things happen when you do this kind of stuff and uh when you do heavy weights so anything can happen guys just kind of the way it goes I'm not used to walking. <laughs> I've kind of let myself get lazy. But it was my choice. I just was, I kind of felt like I was tired of doing the walks. I did them for a few years. So, sometimes we got to move on and do something else. Or maybe not do something else. I don't know. <clears throat> so that's my high school that I went to. That part right there, that whole part right there is all newer. 
it wasn't there whenever I was going to school. It was uh, just the main building that has like about three or four round structures. But uh, you know, a lot of that's new. Of course, that's a field house where they got their gym and workout and all that. Our town is really big on football. I mean, it's football, football. Over everything else, unfortunately. So, today... I don't know what I'm going to do. I wanted to go out of town. I wanted to go to Nashville and go to uh, the drum store, Forks. Forks Drum Closet, I think is what it's called. Never been there. I wanted to go. I've been wanting to go. I got money to uh, spend to uh, buy me some a new symbol or a couple of new symbols, whatever the case might could be. The symbols are the lifeline to your drums. If you're not hearing the right cymbal sound when you're drumming, it just kind of throws you off and makes things not as enjoyable. And I've had a rough time trying to find the correct cymbal. They're all too loud. They're all too extreme. You know, when you're in a small room and all the surfaces are hard, Everything's amplified a hundred times. So, I need to find the correct. Oh, I hear a good old boy coming down the road. That's a good old boy. So, I need to find the correct symbol that I'm looking for, that I'm, the sound that I'm looking for. Yeah. Anyway, and I can't get nobody to go that, you know, that I want to go. I don't like my kids or my nephew moved away. He moved to Clarksville, which is between here and Nashville. Well, depending on which way you want to go. And he and I used to go places all the time. But he's kind of moved on and don't really see him quite so much. So I'm really alone. I don't really have anybody. Now I could hit up one of my sisters. Sure, I'll go, but I don't want to go with my sisters. You know. I like going with my kids or and or my, my nephew because we all cut up and have a good time. We're on the same level. We're still mentally 15 years old. So, I don't really have anybody to hang out with. Because my kids don't like to go nowhere and do nothing. So I'm kind of stuck. I don't like taking that kind of a road trip by myself. Because if something happens, you never know what could happen. It's always kind of nice to have somebody there. And it is nice to have conversation and stuff like that along the way. So, so here's my high school again. Uh, all this is new in the front as well. All that weird area there. It used to just be, like I said, three or four round pods, you know, and then this area here. But yeah, things change. Just seems like yesterday. What's funny is I have a video uploaded on my other channel, Mikey Sun TV. Uh, it's called, I think, VHS to Digital or something like that in the playlist. 
It's got a video of me and a couple of classmates right there in the front, just right there in the grass, uh, shooting a clip for a video that they were doing uh, for the school that year, a little video they started kind of putting out on VHS for the for the school. And it's got me out there singing uh, take me out to the ball game or whatever the heck it's called <laughs> and uh acting crazy so i've been a goofball all my life i've been the class clown the family clown my whole life so it's not an act when you see me do it <laughs> it's just how i've always been so Anyway, I'm going to put my arm down for a minute. We'll catch up on a little bit more a little bit later. Tennis courts. So here we are on the other side, the back side of the school and the baseball area and uh, all that good stuff stadium is right over there kind of see us on the back side of it far side of it whatever so this is a beautiful day oh look beautiful trash in the sewer drain system wonderful People are far too busy to take care of that. And back in the 90s, I used to jog this almost every day around this whole block here, which ends up being uh, like 1.6 tenths of a mile something like that if you park over sorry if you park over on the other side where the on the other side of the school and go around this whole block maybe it's 1.6 i don't remember it's been a day or two but used to do it all the time I had to go back to those days where you could work all day and take care of kids and still manage to jog and play basketball and run around and still have all the energy in the world. Let me stop the video. I got some people meeting up here. I don't want a video around them. Okay, so we got past them. Anyway, there's the back of the actual football field and the stands and all. Yeah, I'm used to riding all this on my bicycle, of course, but not used to hoofing it anymore. But it's good. It'll help me work out my breakfast a little bit and I'll be able to eat some, maybe. We shall see. I'm gonna try and make myself eat and uh, get some water and nutrients in the body and help to heal it while I'm off. And Monday and come back nice and fresh hopefully Whew. all this moving around good grief <laughs> and there's where my oldest granddaughter goes to that school and my youngest granddaughter will be starting there this coming school year. 
time flies. So be on the lookout. I'll probably do a drum video or two or three over this weekend. I know they suck, but it's fun. One day I might get decent enough that my drum videos might not suck. They might not be great, but they might not suck. Ooh, dog. So, we'll stop the video here and I'll wrap it up right as I get home. I'm tired of trying to talk. I need oxygen. So, here we are fixing to pull up to the old plantation. See that school bus? And I just checked my app and we're gonna be at two miles. So that's pretty good for a, a first time walk in a long time. I'll go in. Uh, drink down a Powerade, drink down a water, replenish the old liquids, find me something to eat. I may have a sandwich. I may make myself a nice sandwich. Sounds pretty good. And some chips. You old plantation guys. Speed limit 30. I think I'm all right. You guys have a good day. Do something healthy for yourself inside and out. Also, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff to the body beat down. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. See y'all later. I'm home. I'm home. Get up, get out, get red, and do 